So the seed bank study came out of the need to understand what's going on with our soils a little bit more. Something where we know what's in the soil, like what kind of seeds are there. Is there enough seeds there for grass to come up or would just more shrubs come up? So research has shown at the Coronada, with any one given handful down at these lowland sites, you could have as much as 300 seeds in a given handful. And you could see the seeds from the seed head of the thistle. And the idea is that when this falls on the ground in the soil, that represents your total potential for that ecosystem. So we've decided to use all of the Hornado, which is 90,000 acres, and use our seven ecological sites and then different states within those sites. So one's progressing from, um, from a, a more ideal state to a less more degraded state to be about 284 points. So we collect soil from each of these points in a way um, that kind of randomizes what plants are there and the inner spaces of these plants and then we take the soil and we're going to put them in to a greenhouse setting and give this soil optimal setting for this the, all the germinable seeds that are there will be able to sprout and grow and we'll be able to see. This seed bank should be, uh, we hypothesize, is different than the grass dominated. But we're wanting to capture the seed bank across these different states to learn more about our vegetation pathways and restoration potential. Um, another idea that we're looking at is on the shrub dominated ecological states that maybe there is a grass seed component that with a certain change in management style, you should see, or you could see, a transition from a shrubland to a grassland.